All right. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and I just said Merry Christmas. Quote, we tend to hate what people like the most about us. Why I'm saying this is because when you look at a girl that has a massive badonk kadonk, <laughs> she likes getting the attention, but at the point she would hate that that is all she's known for. She would want to tell you that she has book smarts, but nobody cares at that point because we're falling in love with what we want to fall in love with. Today I'm going to tell you why I'm going to be quitting YouTube and before that, let's round up the year. Early this year I posted the Wako show Linda, Ejofo, Suleiman and Iluzunam and Nengi and I really loved it mostly because it was me doing something different. Uh, in the past I've been used to making the men's club videos and I loved them but it gets to a point where it becomes redundant so this year for me was my bad boy phase. I was like nah I'm not doing that anymore. I don't need them and not like I don't need them I don't want to make these videos as much as I make them if I want to do something different. And I did it. I stopped making reviews of shows episodically and I just did maybe a season and or an episode and I moved on. So the Waco show was me trying to change. I hoped and prayed that it did better than it did, but it surprisingly did not do as much. And at this period, I was also not financially stable. <laughs> so I wasn't having incentive to continue and it was so hard. But well, thank you to everybody that came on um, and thank you to Iroko Critic for helping recording. Hey, my tabo for helping me record this. <laughs> the next phase was when I started doing video essays. I made videos like The Fall of Mr. Biggs, Was Old Nollywood Good, uh, uh, where I spoke on misogyny in Nollywood. And we already knew all these things, but I think I brought a new light or fresh light into this. Um, the Fall of Mr. Biggs is one of my favorite videos. I could watch it again and again because of how much research I did. I like when people watch the video and they would ask me, how did you get that old Mr. Biggs video? And I'm like, it's just by luck, man. I downloaded one video that had old commercials and it was inside. It was by luck I found it. Um, the next phase of videos that I made were the long, lengthy videos. These videos would literally take me a month to make, from writing to editing and also weighing in the half like a nine to five. So it was, it was hard, it was hard, but I pulled it through. Um, King of Boys was something I was so scared because it took me so long. I, I, I pushed my computer to the limit in editing it. And when I exported it, every time it got to like 90%, it would not export. And I was so scared that how did I get this far? And my video doesn't want to like export. So what I had to do was I had to, um, I don't know, this is like technical terms, but I had to render the video in high quality, then screen record final cut which is the editing software that i use and that was the only way we were able to watch it and thanks to god it was my most viewed video this year 121,000 views that's crazy so with the high of doing that i was like you know what let's do this again let's take out a month to make a video and it would probably pay off but this time we go over and beyond than the last time where I added blood and water and I added the cast and it took me a year to get most of them. It was just two, but it took me a year to be able to get to the point where I could get a video from them and I truly appreciate them for sending me videos. Um, and after putting in so much effort, making a 21 minutes, 38 seconds video, you could watch it. It's, it's a lot of effort. It, it, it did not do as well as King of Boys, and it was hot for. I'm not lying. Make doing nine thousand views, it was very hot for. But hey, it's it's the job, so we need to push through. So at this point, I started posting less um, because I did not feel the like. I felt like 
I have put so much effort and it's not paying off. So why do I care? Where is all my subscribers? And yeah. Uh, after that, I started making smaller videos and people started complaining that how will I wait a week to watch your video and you make a, a five minutes video, four minutes video and they don't understand that the reason why I made those videos that short it was because I had a job and it was the only way for me to just quickly get something out so my channel would not just die. <laughs> and I made fine wine and I loved it and I made the Niger Christmas and I loved it and most other smaller videos that I made on the side and I'm not calling most of them um, then the final video I made which is the extreme 100,000 zoo mafia which which took me two weeks to make or is it two weeks yeah because most people don't know this but I recorded this when I recorded the video um, before just after I did fine wine, just after I posted fine wine, I recorded it on a Saturday and I was editing it every night. I'll take it to work and I'll edit it and uh, it, it did not do as well as I planned. And, and again, it comes back to that taking big risk. I think every time I've subconsciously, or no, every time I've consciously taken big risk, it doesn't do well but when i don't think about it it does and most people would be listening to this i would just be like just do it for fun just think about it like your baby think about youtube like your baby your baby might not be the finest but to you he is beautiful and you don't you want other people to look at your child and be like that's a beautiful baby <laughs> do you get so when you drop your child on the ground and nobody's trying to pick your child up, it, it hurts you. I, I know this analogy did not make sense, but you get what I mean. My videos are like my baby. So when I make them and put so much effort into them and I, I, I put it to the public, I want it to be received well. It's not that I'm getting validation, but if I did not want the validation from people, I wouldn't be posting on YouTube. Makes no sense. Do you get? So, I don't know, I need, not that I need the validation, but I just expect more. Um, so that's it in terms of videos. Also to talk about one thing. Most times I have people who newly start talking to me. <clears throat> All right, so surprisingly my brother called while making that point. So he's not at home, he went to stay with his friend for New Year. Can you imagine how uh, disobedient this guy is? But anyways, um, moving on, I I get this a lot from friends where they would, um, um, what do you call it? Where they would tell me 35,000 subscribers, like, did you buy it? And I keep telling them, these are new friends. If you know me, you know that I don't care about social media as much as People think I do. Uh, I, I my Instagram is just filled with me trolling and just making comments that I find just stupidly hilarious. Um, I don't care to paint the perfect picture. If you listen to my podcast, which is Zero Expectations Podcast, you would know that uh, we are not perfect and we wear our own perfectness. Don't even correct me anymore. On our sleeves and we 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 own it and we move on and. So yeah, um, I've never in my life bought followers. The only time I think I did was um, follow for follow on Instagram, and I think everybody did that at a point. But yeah, so I've never done that. So it, it hurts me sometimes, man, that you have so much subscribers and the loss until you post the men's club. What did this video, what, sorry, what was the point of this video? Um, was to say, I truly appreciate you all for sticking with me, which, which what I would say is the best and worst year of my life. Um, and, and I would do better next year. But I quit. Oh, sorry, I don't, I, I'm not quitting. It was clickbait. Yeah, I can't quit. You understand? Like, because I, I, I believe eventually <laughs> It's hard to say, man, because the future looks so dark. Eventually, it would pay off big. So it's just hanging there. It's dark, man, because you can see the uncertainty in my voice. 
but yeah thank you guys thank you Oko critic for my channel do you guys thank you all but thank you Oko critic you helped me so much and your patreon you, you i don't know man guys please join because he's probably going to re leave soon and i'm going to make a video calling him out and everything i said in this video i i will take it back i'm like I hate him. He's he never wanted to see me succeed. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Now it's not that looks at you. Who am I thinking about? Iroko critic. I'm joking. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, viewing, subscribing, sharing with your friends. I need it, man. Next year, we are going bigger. Uh, I'm going to post more. It will be hard, but I'm going to be posting more. I will do more show reviews because like. Hey, it's, people like it. I like making it, but I would do it on my terms, just and, and how I would want to make it. So thank you for watching. This video is not going to be edited. I will just add maybe like a song to set the mood and that will be it. Alright, bye bye guys. I love me. <laughs>